Welcome to the next video in our WordPress walkthrough series. I'm Mick and I'm walking you through how to make this exact website click by click. In the last video we installed WordPress to our hosting account. Now let's dive in and start building the website itself. So assuming you're logged in, this is what you see, the dashboard. This is like your website's home base, the area behind the scenes where you can make changes. All the tools you need are in here. Now the best way to be familiar with the dashboard is to play with it. You really just need to spend some time exploring, clicking on things, seeing what they do. But to give you a head start, I'm going to demonstrate many of these features as we go through these videos. The first thing you might want to do when you log into WordPress is change your password. The one you were given is really secure and safe, so if you want to keep using that, it's probably a smart thing to do. But if you want to make a password that's easier to remember, that's fine too. Just come up here to where it says Howdy and your name and click on Edit My Profile. Then scroll to where it says New Password and type in a new one that you want and verify it. Secure passwords are usually fairly long and contain a capital letter, a number and some sort of symbol like a dollar sign or exclamation point. If you have all of those elements and feel confident that your password is strong enough, click Update Profile to save it. Now before we get started actually building our site, let's go over a shorthand way to get back to this dashboard whenever you need to. All you have to do is type your domain name into the URL bar of your browser. Then add backslash wp-admin to the end and press enter. It will take you to your WordPress login page where you can enter your username and password and get back to your dashboard. I suggest bookmarking the log page for quick access. OK, let's dive in. Let me show you what kind of website we're actually making. This is a sample website for a photographer. It's simple, professional and highlights the basics of what you can do with WordPress, even if you're just a beginner. We have a simple home page and five other pages. An about page, a blog, a gallery page, which is pretty important for a photography website, a contact page and a document page. So that's basically the site we're going to build. The first thing you want to do is pick a theme and change the overall look and feel of the site. This is a fun part of WordPress and one of the reasons it's really popular. We'll go to our dashboard and click on the appearance tab on the left. There are a lot of themes available with WordPress. These are all free. They're all made by people in the WordPress community and new ones are always being added. You can also find a ton of great themes in the Mojo Marketplace where we first installed WordPress. For the website we're making, we want to use a theme that's going to lend itself to photography. Something that will put the photos we're showcasing in the best light. So, to start looking for themes, click on Install Themes. You can filter your search by color, features and more. You can also look at the featured, newest and recently updated themes here. Since I want something modern, I'm going to select white and light and then click find themes. Here are a bunch to choose from. Oh, I like this one. Clicking preview lets me get a closer look. I think this looks like it might work. I can click the install button right from here. Now it's uploading the files for that theme to my server. There, the theme is ready for me to activate. Now that we have our theme picked, I'm going to show you how to start making changes to it. But before we get started with that, there's a trick I want to show you that can help when building a website. Basically, as you make changes, it's helpful to see what the updates actually look like. So what I recommend is opening up another tab or window in your browser with the actual website itself. Not your dashboard, but what people see when they visit it. Select Visit Site and you can see what the website looks like. By having the website open in another tab, I can toggle back and forth between the website and my dashboard to see the website take form as I make changes. Now the first change we're going to make is the title of our site. If we go to the website now, our theme is there, but all the text is default. Go to the settings tab, right at the top it says site title. For the title, I'm just going to use my name, Michael Thomas. Then for a tagline, I'll say a picture is worth a thousand words. Now I'll save the changes and refresh the tab with the website to see if those changes happened. Great! 
Our title is updated. Now, let's change the header image. A good photography site needs a good photo. So let's go back to the dashboard and under the appearance section, click the option for header. Where it says upload image, click choose file to grab an image file from your computer. I'm going to use this one. Then click upload. Now the original photo is larger than the space it's going to fill on the website. So WordPress has a built-in tool that lets you crop the photo. I think that looks about right. I'll click crop and publish and there we go. I'll save changes and refresh our website to see how it looks. There it is. Perfect. So now we've got a title with a tagline and a great looking picture. Things are coming along. In our next video, we'll start making pages and posts.